At different stages of your career, you may be given a free pass. You may even decide to give one to yourself, but these free passes are career killers. Let's uncover this ugly truth of pro wrestling next. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. Right here on my channel, I make videos for fellow professional wrestlers at every single stage of their career. And I do this because when I was just starting out, for the first three years that I was an active pro, I had no coach to teach me, nor did I have a mentor to guide me. And I really do believe that lack of access to veteran wisdom played a significant role in my failure to achieve my ultimate career goal. And I don't want to see that happen to anybody else. I don't want that to happen to you, my friend. That's why Till We Make It is here. And if you're down with that, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe right now. Ring the bell so you never miss out on a video. Or if you want to take your participation, your education to the next level, consider joining our community over on Patreon. If you head over there right now, you can unlock, this is the real number as of this morning, 472 exclusive posts. That's how many are waiting for you there as of this morning. And this includes videos, podcasts, essays, excerpts from four of my books, and tons more. And you can begin to unlock all of that for as little as $5 a month. Today, we're shining a bright light on the concept of free passes. And just to be clear, I'm not talking about comp tickets. I'm not talking about complimentary tickets to an event that you've been given as a courtesy. That's an entirely different beast. It's not today's subject whatsoever. The free passes I'm talking about are a construct of convenience. They excuse a certain shortcoming. And a free pass might sound something like this. Oh, that's okay. You know, you don't need to do leapfrogs. Why don't you just skip that part of the drill? And anytime leapfrogs ever come up in a drill here in class, why don't you just do something different, okay? That's a free pass. It's just an excuse. Why work hard? to master a challenging technique? Why dedicate the time in training to getting good at something? Just take the free pass. It's like a get out of jail free card. Or how about this one? What's that? You're not comfortable learning a bandera? Well, that's okay. Why don't you just take notes on how all the other students are doing the bandera, you know? And if it ever comes up in a match of yours, well, you probably won't need it to be honest. I mean, how often does this ever come up? That's a free pass, too. And wow, it sure is convenient in the moment, isn't it? But it won't be convenient when you need to have mastered that technique to save your life. Now, before furiously typing fingers are pounding out their recriminating comments down below, let me just say that as part of this discussion of free passes, we're not including anything which is medically mandated. Something you can't do in training because you have an injury that you are rehabilitating or because of some disability that prevents you from being able to do a certain specific something. That's not part of today's conversation, okay? The kind of free passes we're talking about are the ones that coaches or trainers hand out to a student who is struggling. I am very sympathetic to injuries to the long road to recovery. You may know, I myself suffered an inoperable injury to my left wrist back in 2011. My lunate bone can never be properly repaired. And so it has absolutely limited some of the things I'm capable of doing in the ring. I cope with this pain every single day. I understand what that is, and that's not part of today's discussion of free passes. Instead, we're focusing on things that could be learned, they could be mastered with more time and more hard work. And sometimes coaches and trainers, rather than spend that time, just hand out free passes. And there's also one other kind of free pass 
This is the type we sometimes give ourselves. You know what I mean? They sound like this. Come on, bro, relax. You know I'm always 15 minutes late for call time. That's just how I am. Wow, what an amazing gift you've just given yourself. A free pass for your lack of professionalism. Or how about this one? What, you wanna do a leg lock in the heat? No, my leg selling isn't believable at all, so I just don't do those. Astounding! You didn't bother to get good at part of your job? Lucky thing, you gave yourself a free pass so you'll never have to put in the effort. The reason this has bubbled up in my brain this week is because of an experience one of my own protégés recently had at a television taping, where they were booked on with someone who actually said to them, I can't do a flip bump. I was never taught. Uh, what? How did you get here? No, the real answer is free passes. Somebody handed that wrestler one free pass after another. That's how they got here. My impassioned plea to you, loyal member of the Till We Make It tribe, is this. Do not take free passes. Don't write them for yourself either. Your coach is trying to hand out free pass at practice. Do not accept that. Yeah, flip bumps are hard. Banderas are hard. Leapfrogs are hard. But take the time to master these techniques. Chances are you're paying a lot of money to learn them. You deserve to learn these techniques. And no free pass will ever equal the satisfaction that conquering something you thought couldn't be done will. So when you hear somebody say, oh, you know, girls don't really need to learn flip bumps, don't accept that. Somebody in training tells you, you're never gonna need a drop kick in a match, don't accept that answer. And don't be the jerk who writes free passes for themselves either. Oh, you know me, bro, don't get heated. I'm never ready for my match on time. Why? Because you're bad at your job? In other words, don't settle for that. Don't accept that. Don't participate in this epidemic of free passes that we have going on right now in professional wrestling. I know it can be frustrating when you see someone else in your training class mastering a challenging technique much more quickly than you are able to. But when you take a shortcut around the work, when you accept a free pass, you are resigning yourself to being less than the very best professional wrestler you possibly can be. Don't accept that. If you are passionate about the art of wrestling like I am, if this is the thing that gets your blood pumping, don't settle for anything less than your personal best. And these things, no matter how difficult they might be on day one, they can be mastered. It doesn't require you to sprinkle any kind of magic fairy dust to make it happen. All it takes is time and repetition. Put in the time, get in the reps, and you can master these techniques, even if on day one that might feel like an impossibility. Do right by your own career. Be the kind of wrestler that makes your mentors Proud. I know coming up, I craved the approval of the people that mentored me. There's nothing wrong with that. But even more than that, be the kind of wrestler that you would be proud to be a fan of. Take pride in your persistence. Take pride in your drive. Take pride in your work ethic. My friends, take pride in your work. And that means you do not take free passes.